Hello, in this video I'm going to show you <coughs> how to perform an FRP bypass on your Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. In order to perform an FRP bypass, you will need to um, first, uh, of course, uh, get your phone's cover off and find the test point. The test point is right here, like these two little dots that you'll need to join together um, with a, like a tool that conducts um, electricity so it can uh, conduct it. Um, and um, once you do uh, you will go to EDL mode. I'll show you everything in detail. Uh, if you don't know how to open your phone and how to find the uh, test point, you can watch a video on our channel on how to find test point on this device. Uh, so that's going to be super simple once you watch the video. And um, we'll do it. But before that, we'll need to get our computer ready as well. So go to a browser like Google Chrome or whatever and go to our website, uh, which is um, our website is hardreset.info. Dot info, enter, and now go to download. Once you are in the downloads, go to Samsung drivers, click on download, then click on download install the driver um, on your computer. Once you install it, restart your computer. This is super important. And also you will need a program for your computer. Um, so let's go to um, hardreset.info slash FRP uh, tool ranking like that. And now you'll have uh, different tools here and we will be using the tool named Octo Plus. It is paid. Uh, it costs uh, $29 for a free month um, access. But I think $29 to unlock a phone like this, it's pretty, pretty great. Um, and of course, it gives you unlimited um, unlimited access uh, like for these three months so you can unlock as many phones as you'd like. Um, I'm going to go to the website. I already have the program, but if you go to software here, go all the way down and simply download the newest one, install it, and you'll be able to use it. I'll already open it. It's Octo Plus Samsung software. Okay, you can see it is being turned on. Also, what I'll do is I'll open uh, the device manager uh, because I'll need it to know whether my phone is connected. And let's go to COM and LP, LPT ports. Uh, here, my phone should show up uh, as another device once I plug it in. Um, and in the program, let's go to the modal selection, make sure the correct modal is selected. It is the SMG990B2 if you have the uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G. If you have a different modal, do some research and know which is your modal, of course. Mm, I think you can also check it in recovery mode, but it's not time for me to do it now. Uh, now select reset FRP, reset FRP EDL method and click on proceed. And now we'll be connecting our um, phone. Of course, I, I think I, I clicked on it too early because it's gonna take me some time, a little effort and uh, a few trials. I'm just gonna find the right tool. I think this tool is gonna be right uh, we'll need to touch. Uh, okay, I'll explain everything. Uh, so we'll need to touch these two points together, then plug in the battery, and then plug in the cable. I think I'll move to the full screen for now. Um, 
and then the phone will show up as a Qualcomm device. We may need to hold it for a moment and let's get it going. So um, I'll place uh, the tool like this, then plug in the battery. And the hardest part is to plug in the cable without losing, yeah, like I did right now. <laughs> Uh, without losing their parts, they should be attached all the time. So let's try that again. Make sure that you have drivers on your computer installed and that not that if you have the cable plugged into your computer, like to the front uh, of your computer, that nothing else is plugged into the front of your computer and make sure it's plugged in directly, not via any additional hub. Mm because it won't work. So let's try that again. It's going to be a little bit difficult. You may have several trials, of course, as I think I said already. Yeah, I didn't I didn't do it, anything. Um, I think I'll just get back to you when I when I actually manage. So remember, unplug the battery, touch these two points together plug in the battery, then plug in the cable. Wait for a moment, once it appears, you can release the test point, keep the cable plugged in and see. So I'll do a few trials. Okay, I managed to do it. You can see there's the Qualcomm and I have the correct modal selected. I can click on reset FRP, EDL method, proceed. And now it should do it. Um, Yes, let's click on yes. And as you can see, it sent, it was sent successfully. It is doing everything. Now, um, I had a little problem with the part here because it's been sort of abused by me already. Uh, remember that between each operate each trial, because I had like 50 trials, uh, be be between each trial, you will need to unplug the battery, plug it back in and try again. Uh, but as you can see, it worked. Now it's, it shows it's charging. Um, I'll try uh, turning it on um, and we'll see everything. So I just pressed and held on the power button unplugged it from the computer and now let's wait until it turns on. We'll see everything that it works, hopefully. And um, I think that'll be about it. Okay, it is booting up. Okay, let's begin. Let's select the language, click on next, click on next. And now the most important part to see is check whether we can skip Wi-Fi. If we can, then our FRP is gone. And yes, we have successfully bypassed FRP. Um, I can go through everything now uh, super quickly to show you everything is fully working. We can put the phone together again and um, and yeah, that's basically it. Remember that you're, when you're putting all the parts together again to turn the phone off. Um, so let's do like power and volume down, power off, power off, and I'll put everything together. I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.